So in this video, we'll be looking at the examples of Newton's universal law of gravitation. So the one we have here is determine the size of the force of gravity of the Earth pulling on a 10,000 kilogram spaceship that is halfway between the Earth and the Moon. Then we're given what the distance between the Earth and the Moon is and the mass of the Earth. So just highlighting some important pieces of information, we're looking for the size of the force of gravity. We're given the mass of the spaceship. We're given the distance between the Earth and the Moon and that it the spaceship lies halfway between. And then we're given the mass of the Earth. So those, those numbers are filled out here to the right. And then I have this diagram of, of what exactly is going on. So we have the Earth, we have a spaceship halfway between the distance between the Earth and the Moon. So we're going to start by labeling some things. I'm going to start by labeling the force of gravity acting on the spaceship from the Earth. So that's going to be pointing towards the Earth. So that's a force acting on the spaceship. And since gravity is an attractive force, the Earth is pulling that spaceship in. So that force is going to be pointed towards the center of the Earth. The other pieces of information that were given is that the distance from the center of the Earth to the center of the Moon is R, or what I call R, which is 384.4 times 10 to the sixth meters, or million meters. And then we're also given the other piece of information that the spaceship, the distance from the center of the spaceship to the center of the Earth is half of that distance R. We're given that the mass of the spaceship is 10,000 kilograms, so I'm going to label that M sub S for spaceship. We're also given the mass of the Earth, which I'm going to call M sub E, and that's 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. In this case, we don't care about the moon. It's not really playing a role, so we don't need to know the mass of the moon. Problem set up, we can use Newton's law of gravitation to determine the gravitational force between the Earth and the spaceship. So we have the gravitational force is equal to big G, which is just a constant, times the mass of the Earth, multiplied by the mass of the spaceship, divided by the distance from the center of the Earth to the spaceship, which is big R, what we call big R over two squared. And then we can substitute in values. Big G is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 Newton meters squared over kilogram squared. That's multiplied by the mass of the Earth, 5.972 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, it should be a 2 there, times the mass of the spaceship, which is just 10,000 kilograms. And then that is over R over 2 which is 192.2 times 10 to the 6 meters, and that whole quantity is squared. And so now we can take a look at units and start canceling those out. We have a kilogram, a kilogram, and then we have kilograms squared on the bottom, so those all cancel. We have meters squared up top, and when we square this denominator, we're going to get meters squared on the bottom, so those two units cancel. So ultimately we're going to be left with Newtons and we're expecting a force so this, this matches up. So plugging all that into your calculator you find that the gravitational attraction or the force of gravity on the spaceship is equal to 108 Newtons. And that's as we expected. And so now we're going to move on to the second problem. So in the second problem we have if the force of gravity acting on a 10,000 kilogram spaceship is 5,000 newtons, determine how far the spaceship is away from Earth. 
And so this force of gravity is the force of gravity by the Earth on the spaceship. So again, the force is going to be pointing from the center of the spaceship towards the center of the Earth. And we're told that that is equal to 5,000 Newtons. We want to know what the distance is from the center of the Earth to the center of the spaceship. And so I'm going to call that distance R, sub E S. So the distance from the Earth to the spaceship. And we're given, again, we're given the mass of the Earth and we're given the mass of the spaceship. So again, we're going to start with using Newton's universal law of gravitation, which says that the gravitational force is equal to big G, which is a constant, multiplied by the first, the mass of the first object, multiplied by the mass of the second object, all divided by the distance between those two objects squared. So for our case, we know the force, and that's equal to 5,000 Newtons. Big G is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 Newton meters squared, kilogram squared. The mass of the first object, so we'll call that mass of the Earth, is equal to 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And then the mass of the spaceship, which is 10,000 kilograms. And all of that's divided by the distance between them squared. And so that's what we're interested in. So taking a look at units, we have Newtons on the left-hand side and Newtons on the right-hand side, so those will cancel. We have kilograms up top, kilogram again up top, so kilogram squared on the bottom, that's gonna cancel, and we're left with meters squared. So isolating R squared, we get R squared is equal to 7.97 times 10 to the 14th, and we're left with meters squared. Taking the square root of each side, we see that R is equal to plus or minus 2.82 times 10 to the seventh meters. And we're looking for just what how far it is, what the distance between the center of the Earth and the spaceship is, so we're gonna take the positive solution and so R is equal to 2.82 times 10 to the seventh meters, which is what we were given. So check mark.